should have worn my sunglasses, man. Fuck, it's chilly, dude. Oh, it's windy. The host and others are just real time. Remember to create a safety experience to follow. What's up, chastity? Enjoying the nature. It's a little nipply though. It's like 50 degrees, I think. A little breezy. But it feels good. I'm way up on this hill. It's pretty cool. Big hill right here. A lot of people down there fishing and stuff. I've never been a never been a real successful fisherman, but it's pretty fun. It's it's fun to just get out, get out and fish, hang out. What's up, Jake? I just can't wait to golf, man. <clears throat> It's gonna be a long time. I probably the depressing thing is with my with this surgery. I don't think I'm gonna be able to golf this year. If I can, it's not gonna be till like September, October. Yeah, fishing's fun. Fishing's fun. I like golfing. I'm not good at golf, but. Yeah, here's a reservoir over here. It's pretty sweet. Looks good. Normally I'd probably run across these rocks right here. Yeah, this uh, this injury is really gonna change my, it's really gonna mess up my career. Like you can see I don't know, it's hard to tell here, but this pack is still just, it's shaped weird. It, it looks different. It feels really freaking weird. Uh, I should have my sling on right now. I'm not even supposed to have it off unless I'm like sitting still, but I'm just out here walking, so I figure I'm fine without it. But yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna really change my lifting career. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to bench press for the rest of this year. And even when I do get healthy enough and strong enough to actually do bench press, I'm probably never gonna go anywhere near uh, 315 again. I'll probably, I'm thinking 225. It's probably the highest I'll ever go again, man. And just rep it out. I'm gonna be way too scared to ever hit heavy weight on bench press again because in the back of my mind I'm going to have this injury in my mind yeah the pandemic was freaking it was annoying but I was fortunate enough that I had like I had a little bit of a home gym uh, out in the garage it wasn't a lot but I had a bench I had a bench I had a barbell uh, I had about 400 pounds of plates, <clears throat> a couple of dumbbells, and then we had a we had a nice cable machine too. I could do lat pull downs and stuff like that. And then uh, we built a squat rack ourselves. Uh, real cheap and easy way to do it. We, uh, me and my wife, took two by fours. We screwed them together, and then. Uh, we screwed like three two by fours together. So we had a tall one. We had one for my height and then we had one for her height and uh, screwed them together. We sat them in a bucket full of quick crete and then we let that quick crete dry. And now it's basically just a nice cheap, easy squat rack. It's not like, you know, it's not gonna hold a thousand pounds, but 
it was good enough for us because you know we're only squatting like two three hundred pounds so it was cool i mean i had everything i really needed to at least stay in shape so i was able to stay in shape during the pandemic but but uh yeah it's been a been a crazy last six months has been pretty crazy me and my wife separated now i'm living with my brother and then since my injury uh, i've actually been just been staying with my parents I've been sleeping on their couch because i can't i can't even sleep on a flat bed i have to sleep partly sitting up and uh i have to wear my sling when i'm sleeping so since i had i i'm i'm not working right now uh for the first two and a half weeks i really couldn't even do anything all i did was lay around and, you know i was in pain i couldn't move but now i feel pretty good i'm at least able to get out and walk and do stuff but i'm still not supposed to do anything with my left arm Yeah, it's getting chilly. I might, I might walk back down this hill. And my shoes got a little damp from walking through this grass. Yeah, I'm gonna walk back down this hill. Yo, thanks for the present. some stuff to do with the kids so I'm gonna hop off for now yeah you have a good day too I'm hoping I can uh, I'll probably see my kids tonight they're they've been staying with the wife and I don't have my own place so it's kind of hard to have them over to my parents a lot so I just have them over once or twice a week and then I, I'm not really I'm not supposed to drive yeah, I drive I drive short distances, but got a nice day out here. Sitting here trying to text and read and walk down this hill. It's a little sketchy. Yeah, check out this view. Pretty cool. I was up here at the top of this hill. Now I'm just walking straight down this hill. Hoping to get a little bit of tan. Because I am pale. <coughs> yeah, I'm excited, man. I, uh... I'm really excited for all the love and support I've been getting on here on TikTok. Uh, literally a week ago, I had 38 followers, and now I'm almost to 4,000. So it's it's hard to believe, but so I'm shooting for a million. So help me, guys! Help me get to a million. That means share my stuff, share this stuff, like it, comment it. Uh, send it to your buddies on Snapchat. Uh, share my videos on Twitter. Just get me out there, man. I want to be like The Rock. I want to be the next, like, the next bald, bearded, beefy guy to just take it, take the world by storm. <laughs> be like a big time fitness coach like a celebrity fitness coach I'd like to be on TV I'd like to have some uh, I'd like to model Calvin Klein's or something it's it might be different for me to get a modeling contract with my tattoos or something but hey, maybe I can be in like an inked magazine too still looking in decent shape right now I gotta pee though and What's up, Jake? I'm 29. 
So I don't really I, I don't know what I look. I don't know if I look older or younger. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm too like I've always looked older than I am. I feel like I'm just now catching up to my age. And I feel like I actually look I feel like in some case like if I shaved my beard, I look younger than twenty nine. I feel like even with my beard, you could almost say I look about 29. I don't know. It's hard to say. What do you guys think? How old do you guys think I look? Because my goal is... <clears throat> from from what I look like now, I don't want to age. You said 28 to 30? All right, cool. I don't want to age at all. Like, I I haven't I haven't changed since I was 23. I look the same now as I did when I was 23. Uh, 32 or 33. Shit, man. Well, my my goal is when I turn 40, I want to look exactly like I look right now. I don't want to look any different when I turn 40. When I turn 50, I want to look what I look like now, just with a touch of gray. Then when I turn 60, I might have some wrinkles. I might have all gray. But, uh, yeah, the shaved head. It's actually, it's kind of grown out now. I need to shave it again today. But, yeah, my hair got thin. My hair got thin quick. Even my, uh, I noticed my hair getting thin junior year of high school. Believe it or not, my hair was cleared down to my chin, dude. I had had a little bit. Of, I usually had a chin strap, just like a little chin strap. I, I could grow a full beard in, when I was 17, but I had a little chin strap and I had long hair, and uh, I loved it. I liked the way I looked back then. I looked cool. And then my thin, my hair just got thinner and thinner, and then I was like, dude, I'm just gonna have to shave this shit because it looks stupid. And then I shaved it and it kept just, every time I cut it, it grew back thinner and thinner. And then I finally just went bald. So I can't really, for a while I had a mohawk cause I, cause this was still pretty thick right through here, but I had the widow's peak. And then, uh, after a while I just I had to shave the mohawk too. And now I got a, <clears throat> now I'm pretty much a stuck bald. I thought about getting one of those like realistic wigs just to see what it looks like is I miss long hair man like if I could have if I could look like Thor I would if I could have long ass luscious hair I would definitely do it but I like the way I look with a shaved head but you know I liked I liked having long hair too The beard, I like having a beard too. Man, I mean, if I shave it, you can see my acne scar. Like I had chicken pox and bad acne. So I got a lot of scars on my face from those. That's mainly why like, I'm thankful to have a thick beard. Cause I can cover that shit up. But uh, <clears throat> thanks Dr. J. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep a little bit of a beard. You'll never see, you'll never see me with a clean shaven face. I always have. If I do shave it, I usually leave at least five o'clock shadow. <clears throat> I feel like people are probably looking at me like, "Who's this dude with a fucking no shirt on?" But I'm out here trying to get some, some sunlight. Very prematurely because it's March but hey I love being outside and with the pandemic and winter and now with this injury dude I've been just been cooped up stuck on the couch so it's nice to come out here and just walk man we've already had some real nice days i should have took advantage of those but it's supposed to be warm later but i don't mind the the brisk 
50 degrees. As long as the sun's shining, I'm okay. I can stay warm enough. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm at work, so I gotta head. Catch you later. Hope your recovery comes fast. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long one, man. It's gonna be six months before I'm like back to uh, a normal workout routine. But even then, I'm not gonna be going heavy with this arm. It's gonna be a lot of light, a lot of lightweight, long road to recovery, a lot of physical therapy. It's gonna be about 16 weeks of physical therapy. Or. Uh, I think even maybe longer than that, man. I think they were talking six months. But keeping my head up, staying positive, staying strong. I appreciate all the support on the OnlyFans. You guys are awesome. Join my OnlyFans. Support me. Uh, it's on sale for 10 bucks right now. Normally I'm gonna charge 20, but I'm running a, a half off sale. I think there's a, I think there's like 17 spots left for uh, 10 bucks. So, um, yeah, if you don't want to miss out on that, then click the link in my bio and join my OnlyFans. And then uh, just message me. Let me know what you want me to post. Uh. Also, I'm an online fitness coach. I'm in decent shape right now, but I can get you in good shape. So that, that link's in my bio too, if you're looking for an online coach. Uh, click the link in my bio, scroll down to online coaching. And uh, check out my rates, check out my programs, see which one's best for you message me or just purchase it right up and then I'll get in contact with you and I'll get you on your way to getting in whatever shape you're looking for doesn't matter if you're wanting to build muscle lose weight gain weight get shredded doesn't matter I can get you you want to get stronger I'm not a powerlifting coach but I can still get you stronger so whatever your goals are hit me up I can get you there I've been doing it for 10 years. I've read a lot of books. I've uh, talked to a lot of people, listened to a lot of professionals, so. Oh man. Well, we're gonna head back home now. Got a little fresh air. It feels pretty good, but. Hey, what's up, Zane? It feels, it feels nice out here. Nice views. Nice uh, bluish sky. A little bit of soft cloud cover. Uh, a little breezy, a little chilly, but it feels nice. Get some sunlight. Get that vitamin D production. And even though I drink plenty of milk, so I don't really need it. And I take a. I take a multivitamin every day, so I get my B vitamins, everything else I need. Oh man, yeah. About to jump off here. It's bright, man. It's hard to see. Yeah, thanks for joining guys catch you later follow me on IG peace out